the greater good. Yep, so you're going to need a sewing kit with a needle and a thimble to set up your gold shell bite. No, I'm not joking. Yes, I'm being serious. Watch the video and I'm going to tell you why. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. I just got back from Mining Disrupt 2025 and before you here, I have the new gold shell bite. Everybody was talking about this thing at Mining Disrupt. It's a small miner as you can see. I've got it sitting on top of my Alphapex DG Home 1. I love that thing too. Uh, but I just wanted to show you for like size purposes, this thing compared to the DG Home 1 and then we'll um, hold it up to the KS0. So there it is sitting on top of the KS0. So this thing's even smaller than a KS0. So it can sit right on your desktop, right on your shelf. It's just a cool little small miner. Tech Hustler, I think in one of his X posts said, uh, it reminded him of like a Nintendo. Like it is a lot like the old style Nintendo cartridges. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I like this thing so much. So you can pop these cartridges out and they are hot swappable cartridges. They have fans built right in. So it's really cool. This card is the Dogecoin script mining card. See, I don't know if you can see it. It says DG card on it. I'm trying to focus on it. And you can just swap it in and out currently for Alio cards. So I'll pop the DG card back in the script liner card. And then this one is the Alio card. I don't know if you can see it on there, it says AE. Those are the um, two cards you can currently get with it. And you can have two Alio cards in there. You can have two Dogecoin cards in there, script miner cards in there. And then they're gonna be coming out with new algorithms for this thing. It sounds like probably all the time. So what I like about that is um, you guys have seen, unfortunately, a lot of these um, KS zeros, this is my KS zero ultra. I've got my RX zero, my AL zero over here. Um, they only, you know, like mine Caspa or whatever, you know, forks of Caspa come out. It's tough because you're just, you buy it and then that's it. This gold shell bite, when you buy this, you can swap the cards out when new algorithms come out. So what I'm hoping is if they do it right, the cards that come out will um, be less costly than buying a whole new unit that just mines one coin when it comes out, if you guys know what I'm saying. Just like the way this thing looks, and I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's it's all metal. It's not cheap and it's solid. Even the cartridges are metal. That's a metal shell. So it is not a like cheaply designed product. Um, I like the way it looks. I like that it's got that like single fan, like an A2000 GPU power button. You've got USB-C. It's powered by USB-C. I've got the power adapter here. It sounds like when I talked to Gold Shell James, I did a little interview at Mining Disrupt. And this is a nice, powerful charger that will be able to um, handle these cards no problem. Some people are buying um, like cell phone chargers or computer chargers that are USB-C. And if they're lower wattage, you might not be able to handle it. I'd probably recommend buying the charger from Gold Shell. Uh, the one that they have available. Um, so that way you know it's compatible and it will work. I wanted to do a shout out to Brandon Coin. Thank you, Brandon Coin, for letting me borrow this thing. So I uh, hung out with Brandon Coin a lot at Mining Disrupt. He's a great guy. Uh, if you're sub to me, you're probably sub to him, but just in case you're not, uh, I'll show his stuff on the screen. I'll leave his uh, links in the description of the video. He let me borrow it. He said, go ahead, and do a video on it. So thank you so much, Brandon Coin. I appreciate it. I'll get this to you as soon as I'm done, my friend. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs on Gold Shell's website. We'll dig a little deeper into this thing. We'll set it up. We'll have some fun with it. We'll talk about current profitability. If you're a beginner, just know that you're not going to get rich off this thing. This is a good way to learn about how to mine, uh, how it works, how to set up uh, like a wall and mine to it and all those things. So you're not going to get rich off this thing. Um, if you already know all these things, but you just think it's kind of fun and cool, that's kind of like, that's where I'm at. I just think it's kind of a fun, cool little thing. Just be careful uh, with buying any mining equipment. If you do want to buy one of these, Crypto Miner Bros has it listed right now. You can use discount code GREATER. Um, I don't know for sure if that will get you $70 off, but if you're looking for any other ASICs like the DG Home One or whatever, um, you can use discount code GREATER. 
70 bucks off and then I get a little commission. So I appreciate that if you like the video, if you don't mind using the links in the description, that helps me out a lot. And let's go ahead and dig a little deeper into it in the computer. Here we are in the computer. Welcome. Welcome to my computer. So we're on Gold Shell's website. I'll leave the link in the description. That's an affiliate link. If you guys use that, that helps me out too. Um, and the price is uh, different on Gold Shell's website than Crypto Miner Bros, but Crypto Miner Bros includes shipping. So you guys compare when you, you know, check your carts out, which one is the better deal. And, uh, you know, I'd, like I said, I appreciate it if you use the affiliate code. So if you want to buy one of these right now, they are giving away one DG card for free. So that's pretty cool. And I think that is the same on Crypto Miner Bros. And then it says, of course, one byte supports two different algorithm cards. First batch is gonna ship April 15th. So that's just a few weeks away. And then if you wanted to buy a combo package with that 140 watt charger that I showed you earlier, that batch is gonna ship out April 30th. So if you get that charger, you might have a you know a couple weeks delay in ordering it and you know and having it shipped and stuff like that. So just so you know, if I find a good solution, um, I'll just leave it in the you know like link uh, in the description of the video. It'll be like an Amazon affiliate link or something like that. So um, we'll try out the charger. We'll see. Um, I personally would like to have the higher wattage one that's designed for it, um, but you know. You know, you guys choose what you want to do. One thing that I will say is really cool is that it is wireless. You guys saw um, there's no Ethernet port on it. It is Wi-Fi. So you can run this anywhere, you know, just as long as you got a plug nearby. Okay, so here's the specs. We're talking about 45 decibels. And I will check that with a decibel meter, my own decibel meter. Um, the Gold Chill Charger is 140 watts, like I said. And here's the specs if you wanted to find your own plug. Like I said, I'll find one that matches these specs and put the link in the description if you don't want to look around yourself. I'll find one from like Amazon. Here's the AE card specs, the Alio specs. 5.5% or 5.5 mega hash per second plus or minus 5%. Uh, high power mode is 65 watts and you can change the modes um, for more efficiency you can drop the power consumption down and of course you'll lose a little hash rate doing that um, default hash rate is 4.5 mega hash per second at 45 watts the efficiency on alio is 10 joules per mega hash dg card the script mining card we're talking about 80 mega hash per second on the high power mode for 65 watts that's 0.81 joules per mega hash default mode for the uh, script card is 65 mega hash per second 45 watts with 0.69 joules per mega hash so you're getting a little more efficiency uh, when you use the default mode so there's the specs. Let's go ahead and set this thing up. Then we'll do some testing. We'll see the exact power consumption for the whole unit. We will check the decibel meter to see if it matches that 45 decibels that they're um, describing here. And then we'll hit it with a thermal imaging camera, the Predator, so we can see how hot this thing gets on the outside because it's all metal. Um, and I just like to know how hot these things get if I'm gonna stick them on a shelf in my house or my office. So let's go ahead and get into the setup. Then we'll do all the fun testing. Plug it in, plug it in. Okay, so in the intro of this video, I said you would need a sewing kit to log into this thing, and I wasn't joking. This might save you guys some time and massive amounts of frustration. So shout out to Geek of All Trades, the GOAT, because he is the one that gave me this tip on how to reset this thing. I could not log into it. I could not get it showing up on my network. I was getting massively frustrated. So let me show you something. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a microscopic hole right next to the USB-C and this is how you hard reset this thing. I'm hoping that you can see it on the screen. I'm pointing right at the hole. That's where you need to hold like a needle into this thing for about 10 seconds and then it will hard reset. I was trying all kinds of stuff. I was unplugging it, replugging it. I was trying to uh, hold this power button that's on the back of this thing and I couldn't get it to do anything until the goat geek of all trades told me where the hard reset button was. So you hold it down. Um, it's easier for me to see because I got the meter box there. The water's changed. But if you don't have a meter box, you can listen. The fans will ramp up and it will reset itself and then you can log in. So little subs to the goat. If you're subbed to me, you're probably subbed to the goat too. So thanks again, goat. Let's log into this thing. Okay, so I am in my phone. I'm going to show you guys how to do it from your phone. Download the Gold Shell Zone app down here on the bottom left of the screen. And then once you've done that, click into the Gold Shell Zone app. It says, hi, Greater Good Money. Hi, Gold Shell, how you doing? Um, hit Add Miner. 
and when you see it on my screen, you're not going to see the miner show up because I've already logged into it. Um, but it will scan for your miner and it will show on the screen kind of like where I'm clicking the uh, miner's name. They'll have a, a name dedicated to that miner and it will uh, show like I believe the IP address too. So you can just click on that. Once you do, it will log you in, but you have to unlock it. If you want to, you can go um, from a website called find.goldshell.com. That, that's a different route that I'm not gonna take. I'm just gonna show you on the phone. So um, I've already added the miner. Let's go back to the miner. One more thing I wanted to show you. You, will, you might need your gold shell key. So go to account setting, and then you can hit copy and it'll copy your gold shell key. Let's go ahead and go into the miner now. Okay, so when the gold shell app found my miner, I clicked on it, it took me to where I could log into this thing. So you need to be on um, 2.4 gigahertz for your Wi-Fi. It uh, won't work on five gigahertz. And I had to unlock this thing. So let's go ahead and unlock it. This is where you need the admin and password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unlock. Okay, now you can see the cards are showing up slot zero, slot one. And what we need to do is we need to set up our pools. Let's go ahead and go into the miner itself. Here's where we need to set up the pools. First thing I'll do is set up my Litecoin pool. Hit add. And then this is where you type in the Stratum TCP. You can uh, set a miner name and password. So type in your pool right here or copy paste the pool in there name your miner whatever you want and then make your password whatever you want you can make it simple and just put x or something then hit apply okay now let's do the same thing for a leo we're gonna tap on a leo and then hit add and i'm gonna just use f2 pool stratum and just make sure you pick the correct one because there is a gold shell specific stratum for Aleo on F2 pool. Okay, apply. Getting kind of sick of dealing with this thing in my cell phone, to be honest. So I'm going to, um, you know, like I want to download the firmware and I want to do it from a gold shell hub maybe. Uh, so if you want to do that, you need to enable cloud control and then type your gold shell key in right here or copy paste it. Um, like I said earlier, I recommended you copy it just in case you want to change it later. Um, so I am enabling cloud control. I, uh, pasted my gold shell account key in and now I can use gold shell hub if I want to update the firmware and I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue the video from the dashboard in the computer it's just so much easier for me to navigate and show you but you can set this up from your cell phone I'm just gonna move it over to the dashboard it's so much easier to deal with so let's go ahead and go back into my computer okay we are back in the computer and we are in the mining dashboard hub.goldshell.com slash miner and I'm getting 81 to 86 mega hash per second on the Dogecoin side and the Alio side I'm getting about 5700 kilohash per second it's um, chopping up and down a little bit it was a little higher a little a minute ago but we are hashing away guys um, one thing I didn't show you was um, you have to click into the Wi-Fi and just connect to your Wi-Fi when you're um, in your cell phone so I'm sorry I missed that step uh, on the cell phone but it's pretty easy. You'll see the Wi-Fi connection setting and you just log into your Wi-Fi. So all I would be doing if I showed you on the screen was showing you how to punch a password into where it says Wi-Fi. So that's what you got to do. Log it in to your Wi-Fi so it can start hashing away. Make sure you connect into the pools that uh, you choose. I'm using F2 pool. So my Alphapex DG Home 1 video, I showed you how to set up F2 pool if you want to check that out. Um, but if you've already got F2 pool set up, this is super easy. All right, let's do some testing. Let's hit this with the thermal imaging camera, the Predator. Thanks, Predator. I appreciate it. What? No. No, I'm not going to pay you. Okay, okay, fine. Send me your Casper wallet address. Jeez. 
Okay, let's take a look at this footage. So I'm starting from the intake side and you see the cool little side fan spin in there. Um, and you can see inside it's about 62 degrees Celsius. Nothing too crazy there. Let's get around to the exhaust side and looks like we're peaking around 60 degrees Celsius. You saw the little red plus sign there. Um, what I'm curious about is what the power adapter looks like. And I'm not concerned about what the gold shell looks like, but the power adapter, just be aware, it does get pretty hot, saying up to 65 degrees. Okay, this thing's still chugging away. So let's go ahead and check with the decibel meter and we'll take a look at the meter box to see how many watts we're pulling. Okay, we are on high power mode and I'm gonna show you the wattage real quick and then I'll be quiet so you can see the decibel meter without my voice involved. 125 watts on the meter box and we'll see about the noise. Okay, about 52 decibels on high power mode and you can maybe hear the fans in the background. They're very quiet. It's like um, every once in a while, like if your computer like ramps up a little bit, just for like a few seconds. That's kind of what it sounds like. It's very quiet. So to recap, I really do like this little home miner from Goldshell. The bite is cool. It reminds me of a little Nintendo. I'm a little nostalgic for that kind of thing. Um, it doesn't take up barely any space. It's very quiet. It's sitting right next to me, right next to my uh, microphone right now. You can't even barely hear it. Uh, it only takes 125 watts, at least mine does anyway. And that is lower than advertised wattage, which is, you know, really great because that's more efficiency and it's mining one of the newer algorithms alio you could get two alio cards if you wanted to because that would be the most profitable right now um, you can profit switch if you buy you know, the script miner cards the alio cards you can kind of profit switch if you wanted to um, you're not going to get rich with this thing like i said before uh, these small home miners like you're just not going to get rich but if you're newer to mining and you want something that maybe has a little more staying power rather than just buying an ASIC that's specific to one algorithm, you might be able to swap out for other algorithms, um, you know, sooner rather than later. I know Goldshell is planning on launching other algorithms for these cartridges. So it's uh, going to be adaptable going forward. Um, the cost per hash I'm hoping will be lower if Goldshell does everything right and it makes the cards for new algorithms somewhat reasonable. Um, so I'm hoping for that, but we will see. I don't know about you guys, but I still get excited when I set up a new miner that is kind of fun to mess with. This is the first time I got a chance to mess with the bite. It's brand new. And I love when I see that crypto hit my wallet. It is just like old times. Like when I first set up my first rig and I started seeing it stack up in my wallet. I just, I just love that. So anyway, I hope the video was helpful to you. If it was, do me a favor, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel. I've got tons of crypto content. And last but not least, don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.